about the Quran that we've been here for almost two hours, you cannot produce anything of documentation. And so what I say, this is a good evidence that the Quran is indeed what it claims to be. And that is a word the of Allah. The word of God. It's not a contradiction. I'm sorry, what's that? The moon split in half is not a contradiction. No, as we have saw, it does not contradict science in any way. In fact, there was a story, there was an actual incident where the moon completely disappeared all by itself. But science never had a problem of researching that. So the issue about the moon splitting in half, this is a supernatural uh, claim. And as we saw from science, if something is supernatural, science does not confirm it or contradict it. Uh, it's just, it cannot, science actually cannot even be applied to it. This is There's another way of phrasing so, wait, that. If something can either be. This is the point I, I wanted to get to. Uh, you're saying science doesn't uh, contradict a, sap, a supernatural claim like the moon splitting in half. Mm -hmm. and, but there's a reason why it doesn't do that. Because if it's a supernatural claim, there's no way to, uh, to demonstrate a testable mechanism for how the moon is splitting in half. Correct. Science has, in the past, tried to go and just prove some of the stories in the Bible, like Noah's Ark, and I'm not talking about the claim in the Quran that that people argue that Noah's Ark was a local flood, but uh, they went and they looked at all the all the layers of the earth, and they tried to find a layer all over the earth that had a flood layer. So uh, that it, it, in order for science to address it, it has to have a testable claim or some way to find evidence for it. So like if the moon split in half, um, there would be evidence on the moon that that happened. Uh, we can see some of the craters of the moon from past events on the moon. If it's split in mm -hmm. half, there would be evidence left of that. You, you get where I'm going with this? So sure. science, yeah. science can't, science can't dis, uh, disprove there's leprechauns either. That is an easy right. left There's me. another way to put that. If I, I want to just interject this one thing and I'm done, right? It, in science, if something can neither be indicated nor vindicated nor verified nor falsified, so that there's no way to show that it's to show that it's true or to show the truth of it or to prove it wrong if it is, then it has no value in science. The problem that we have here is, uh, is is very easy to summarize. The problem that we have here is that Nader Ahmed uh, basically sees uh, the challenge as such that if there is something that we can describe as accurate, as scientifically accurate in the Quran, then it is definitely accurate. And if there is something that we can, uh, that, that is seemingly scientifically inaccurate and points at something which seems to be uh, in contradiction with the natural world, then that simply means that it is describing something supernatural, uh, which we can not verify and not observe, and therefore not, uh, you know, you not know, not see as a scientific statement. So what he's doing is that if something is definitely clearly scientifically accurate to him, then it is accurate. And if something is uh, inaccurate in the Quran and not in agreement with natural uh, world, then that is a miracle referring to the supernatural which we cannot describe so the problem that we are having here is that no matter what we do it is impossible for Nader Ahmed to ever accept the fact that there are scientific mistakes in the Quran, which is why I said the difference between us is that I can accept that the Quran makes a scientifically accurate statement. He will never accept that the Quran makes scientifically false statements. And I think can, we have clearly observed today that can I, can I say, the Quran can I answer all been, of that? We can clearly see today that the Quran has been scientifically uh, disproven once again. Yeah. Unfortunately, okay, can answer we, don't want, we don't want to do multiple final statements, so we're just going to let Nadir say his sure. last thing, sure. and then and then okay. we'll be done. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So I, I, I understand. Well, let's just let's just go, let's just go ahead with Nadir. If, yeah, you know, I understand what you are saying that you would see signs of a moon splitting and things like that. That is if it happened naturally. But if you look at the story about the moon splitting, this is a supernatural event. So God can do this in any way he chooses to do so. He could leave no trace behind or he could or you could choose to leave trace behind. But the issue tonight, I think this the argument from silence is I think what the problem here is. Uh, but before I go there, I also want to respond to Aaron Ra. He said, okay, well, yeah, there, when it comes to the supernatural, sci this, the proper position here is science cannot prove it 
or disprove it. Rather, science remains silent. But to say that it has no value, that is an opinion, and that's your opinion. Um, but no, let me just... Not, it's not an opinion. Okay. That's that's science. Okay, if, okay. You if, there's right. no, if you can't contribute any knowledge, if you can't show that it's true or false, it has no value in science. That's not my opinion. That's a basic scientific okay. principle. Let us not agree to disagree. Opinion. Even though I disagree. That. Let us agree to disagree. Okay, I feel like you're giving me an opinion, but that's fine. Okay, I understand you your you feel okay. incorrectly. Okay, Aaron, all right. Okay, so now here is an argument from silence. I think this really explains it. This is the fallacy of reasoning states that if a record of an event cannot be found, then that event did not occur. This argument is erroneous because an event could have happened even if no record of it could be found. In other words, lack of record does not disprove an event. Like so the moon splitting into the that. giant moon in the sky splitting into. <laughs> All we can do is admit that there's no evidence of it. And therefore for, we for cannot, or against. For or against, there's no evidence for it. So we, so we cannot honestly say that it happened. If you look at this one statement, you cannot say there's evidence for it or against it. It's, again, so, there's silence. So you can't say that it happened. There's, we, we can't show the truth of it. There is no evidence okay. of it. So we're done. Logically, that's, 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 you, you just shot yourself in the foot. I mean, <laughs> so let Peter go ahead and take us out. I think we're yeah. done. <laughs> okay. Thank you.